Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm just doing a quick look at my little mini album or mini up book that I did with the Less Hustle More Jesus devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. Um, I do have an unboxing on my channel, I will link that down below, and I had asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a mini book or Bible journaling entries or what you wanted to see, and so I had a mix of both, so I'm gonna do both, but I wanted to show you kind of what I've started. Um, I initially thought that I would film myself putting this together, but guys, this took hours. I don't know, this may be the last one you guys ever see on my channel, because this was a lot of work, um, but it's fun. So it's up to you guys if you think this will work better for you guys than just working in your Bible, or um, just trying to figure out what to do with the devotional cards. So. What I've done is I've taken the devotional cards from the kit and the um, tip-ins and things like that and I started by hole punching those and I'm using some one inch album rings. I found mine at Hobby Lobby but you can also order them on Amazon. Um, I'll link both down below for you guys and these are just these little rings that you can open up. They come in all different sizes. I used one inch for this um, and I think it worked well. And I just went, I would say, use what's in your stash. Um, but for me, I didn't have a whole lot of kind of rainbow colored things in my stash. So I did purchase a few things to use for this, uh, but you really can do this without buying any additional products. So I did go out and buy, um, I went and just had an eighth of a yard of a few different fabrics that matched the kit and tied those onto the ring. Now this does cause an issue with um, like writing on here because it's like squishy underneath, but I can open this up and take things out and write on it and then put it back into the book. So um, I'm not sure if that's something that you guys will wanna do, but I just use some different ribbons and um, fabrics and things like that just to add some interest to the outside. Now the cover is actually a clear cut, let me show you. So you have these clear cuts from Illustrated Faith, Dayspring, and Bella Boulevard. Um, and these are these like transparency sheets um, that are printed and I get a lot of questions about what to do with these. So I decided to go ahead and use these for the front and back cover of my book just because they are um, more substantial than just cardstock. So I measured and cut it down to fit my little book here. Now they do have a piece of plastic on them. Let me see, like this one you can see, there's a piece of clear plastic, you do wanna remove that. That's just to protect it from getting scratched or whatever while it's in um, your book and being stored. So I cut that down, I did hole punch that. I use my um, crocodile hole punch. This thing will punch through um, chipboard even. So it is perfect for this. And then I just took the little card that comes in the kit and some of the stickers from the kit and a little doily and added that to this front cover. Now, um, the nice thing about this kit is if you order from Dayspring, they do send you printables. So don't be afraid to use stuff up in a book like this because you do have the option to print out more stickers if you want to. So I decided to try to use up as much as I could um, in this particular project. So then I started with the session one card and now for each one of the sessions I did go ahead and add one of the little tabs. I don't know if you can see that but there is a tab for each one of the sessions just so they're easy to find in there. And then I have not worked through this yet so it's blank so I can do my note taking if I need more space. I can always insert um, more tip-ins or tags or cardstock or whatever I want in here um, if I need more room to write on. Uh, this was just a tag that I created. I used the stamps from the kit. Um, these ones here, I just used the outline and created a little tag with some distress inks. And um, I tried to do lots of sewing and layering and things like that. So I did go ahead and just sew on some of the fabrics and used washi. I pulled out a whole bunch of fun washies um, that are kind of like colorful and party themed and things like that. I have a whole bunch in my stash from different places so I try to incorporate that. And then to cover up where my stitching was, I just added a doily and then some of the paper pieces and enamel hearts. Um, the paper pieces are in the kit and then these are from Illustrated Faith and that just makes it pretty 
as you're flipping through the front because you can see the front and the back. Now, some of the cards I left kind of blank. I can always come back in and um, staple things or tape things on there or whatever I want to do. Um, but I'd wanted to leave myself plenty of room to journal and things like that. And then just occasionally added little pops of fabric and paper pieces and things like that. But you can see some of these I just left blank. Now, I don't like to use the heart tippins in my Bible. They're just an odd shape for me. Um, but they were able to be punched and put in here kind of at an angle um, and so I do have room to journal on the back of here. I went ahead and pulled out some of the um, ephemera pieces from Illustrated Faith and did some layering, added um, another piece from the kit and some stitching, just a fun little added um, piece. There's no real purpose of that, it's just cute I guess. Um, I made a little shaker pocket and I did that with some plastic this was like one of those clear um, page protector sheets but you can just use packaging and I used my fuse tool I will link that down below and created a little tag pocket I did go ahead and fuse around the hole that I punched so that no glitter or anything would come out and then just filled it with um, sequins and glitter and things and then use this um, ephemera piece from the kit and so that just adds a little fun element in there and then you can see some of the cards I did dress up again with stitching and doilies and some um, pieces from other ephemera packs and staples and just lots of texture but again leaving myself to come in and do some journaling and you can see here I did go ahead and add a tab since it's the session two card and really simple guys it really wasn't a whole lot of product that I used it just takes time to piece it together and so you can see I use the same fabrics the same washies here I just stapled a piece of fabric to the top added some um, epoxy stickers and some ephemera from the kit really simple um, this one I left plain I can always come back in and add things or I can take it out and ink it up or add paint or whatever I want to it um, and since these can be opened and closed I can take things out move things around things like that um, this card I left blank for now it's got quite a bit going on room to journal again I can add extra little bits if I want more room to journal um, this one here I just added some trim and some washi using up some of the stickers from the kit and then again I can add stuff onto the back once I do my journaling to fill in areas here's the other tip in there and you can see they are still kind of awkward even in here I don't know the heart just is not my favorite <laughs> shape here I added some sequins to the card the same sequins that I used in the shaker pocket and just to jazz it up and then some of the pieces that I had cut off of the doily just use that and then some of the word Fetty that comes in the kit and so I've got room to journal on there and then this one I left pretty simple room for journaling I can always add more goodies and then on the back is another um, transparency sheet I didn't have a second sheet of the same print so I just went ahead and used this one on the back which is fine and so you can see it does have that transparency so I can see through it but it does add some protection to it so that is all I have in there so far um I don't know that I would add a whole lot more I don't want it super chunky um like I said this project took a lot longer than I thought it would so um we'll see I will still hop in I have some ideas of some journaling I want to do in my bible so I will do that still do that um and then I will do my note taking and things like that in this little booklet. So I hope that gave you guys some inspiration and ideas for how to use the devotional cards and the paper goods from the kit. This is the Less Hustle More Jesus. It is now available at Dayspring. I will link it down below and I will link all the products that I can down below for you guys that I used. If you have any questions or comments be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.